Nigeria's 2023 presidential election, who is going to win? I want to do some analysis in this video. Before I go further, I want to give you some introduction to Nigeria, just in case somebody is watching and they don't know much about Nigeria. Nigeria is a country in West Africa just there. And Nigeria is a country that is really important to West Africa, to Africa, and to the world. Nigeria is a very very diverse country and this particular election of 2023 is so important because nigeria has never been this divided because of you know a lot of um, factors that you know this present government they have just not performed they have not performed nigeria has gone backward you know the last eight years has really been very very terrible so these are the candidates that are there for this 2023 election and you know this is not in any particular order but these are the candidates that i think are stronger than all the candidates i mean in every election you will have a lot of political parties but in terms of you know when you have to actually you know uh, slim them down then you know that you know these four are the one that has the most important at the moment in terms of life that have the better chance but obviously there will still be a lot of things make no mistake about it there will be a lot of things that will happen before the election you know we might have a situation whereby this particular guy he might just change and join somebody else or have alliance or you know a lot of things will happen permutations that, that will happen before the election so now this particular map is a map that shows the ethnic city of nigeria so when you're looking at this map you're looking at you know this key just shows you know the major ethnic group uh you know outside of Fulani, yoruba you know igbo i mean there is always going to be you know somebody that is igbo or somebody that's yoruba we say uh, you know actually that our percentage in nigeria population is more than that um you know different people we have different opinion but this is just like a rough you know guide um for this particular video so to just show that on the map and then you have the smaller ethnic group as well so for example you have you know number four there which is edo and then you have you know say for example you have number five there which is uh, Nupe peoples number 16 there which is I mean, so nigeria is a diverse country with a lot of ethnic groups so yeah but we know that the uh, three major ones are Aousa, Fulani, yoruba and higbo so this guy who is here is um, Aousa Fulani and comes from around that place and this one here so who is Aousa Fulani as well is around there and then this guy here who is uh, Yoruba is from there and this guy who is uh, Igbo is around that area there so something that is so important that you cannot remove from Nigeria's um you know election is you know tribe tribe is so important and is so massive in terms of like when people are making decision on who to vote for another factor is religion religion is also really very important that people tend to like affiliate themselves to a particular religion you know the most popular one um, you know <laughs> we're talking about you know christianity and islam so you know people tend to kind of like have that at the back of their mind when making decision on who they want to vote for so now what is uh, the role of um, you know christianity in terms of like religion um, christianity and islam and also tribe i am going to go further to analyze this um, further so when we're now looking at these three guys um, or actually four of them so let's look at them this way so these four guys what do they have in common right all of them they are politicians so they are not kind of like random people that just show up you know they are not they are politicians here this guy is been a governor of Kano state there you know in the past he's been the governor of Kano state him he has been governor of adamawa state where he was there for a very short period before um he was 
called upon to become uh, the vice president um, of Nigeria during the Obasan Yor regime. So, yeah, that was a while ago. So, and him, he has been a governor of, you know, Anambra State, one of these um, Igbo states down there. Right. Him, he has been governor of, you know, legal states. So, which means all of them have been governor hall, they've been in, in power uh, one time or the other. So, which makes makes uh, makes them, you know, politicians. So, politicians, who knows what they are doing. So, if I want to analyze this further now, let's have a look at this. So, these guys, again, you know, four of them, this map actually shows, you know, the last election of Nigeria. So, on that election, you have the ruling political party. So, you have, you know, the two, well, let me say the two biggest political parties in Nigeria. So, and does this party do change from time to time as well? Because a lot of Nigerian politicians they don't really have any ideology. You know, not like um, in America you have Democrat and Republican, or UK in Britain you have you know Labour Party and Conservative, and people just affiliate with one particular party and they stay there for a very long time. But in Nigeria it's not the case. People just move. They move from APC to PDP or from PDP to APC. You know, they just move around as as they will really so now you have this guy um, who is from the north him he doesn't really have that much chance for me if i had to be honest based on my own opinion he was governor of kano state which means that you know he is really very strong that is likely to win that kano state so again i mean last election apc you know won all this green and in pdp won all this you know um uh, red or or, or or brown so now you have him who his party is in apc or pdp so which means that his party i don't think he has that much structure to win an election you need to have structure so Kano state is where is where he, he was governor that's his home state is likely to be strong there perhaps he might win that and then this state here jigawa state came from Kano state it was uh carved out of Kano state which means that you know it's kind of like a strong into those two you know states other than those two states maybe because of tribe maybe other people from other states might vote for him outside Kano and Jigawa but seriously I don't think so and I'm going to tell you why as I go further so for him I don't really see that him having that big chance so which means that I'm going to put him really on the side and I'm going to kind of like uh, put a little mark there that I don't think he has that you know that serious chance let me move on to atiku abubaka by the way he is konkonso rabi konkonso i forgot to mention his name so atiku abubaka here is from pdp so which means his party is one of the uh, biggest parties so his party has won election before in fact they were the one before this present government um so his his party is the one that did really well in the last election and he was the candidate presidential candidate for his party when they did well like that even though they did not win actually you can see this um kind of like information as well for that last election of 2029 and here you go so you can see again what represented in different color so apc and pdp so Atiku Abubaka is here. He's contesting again. So his party, look at that. There isn't that much difference. Well, you know, a few million, but you know, it's really the, the margin there is just, uh, you know, just close to four million is the margin. So which means that his party really did well. They won 18 states. Why did one that actually won Buhari, who is the present president, won 19 states? So. You know that so does that really mean that you know atiku abubakar's party does that really mean that they have a big chance to actually challenge the apc and apc is this person you know bola ahmed tinubu he is the um popularly called jagaban he is the one 
that is the flag bearer of the APC that did really, really well there in that last election. So for me, Natika Kuwa Abubakar, I think is going to rule, do really well. And because of him as well is the reason why this guy, Konkonso, we have a problem because Natika Kuwa Abubakar is possibly going to get, you know, a lot of vote in a lot of all those states. So something very important now that would be a big factor is tribe. Because when you look at this guy here, even though he didn't really win all of these places in 2019, the last election, but the reason is because the person that contested with him, he was incumbent one and also two. He is also Awusa Fulani, which means his influence will overpower Atiku. So, you know, you can see tribe there. So Awusa Fulani are the one, you know, that, that, that color there. So, and also, and then generally the northern part really, so he might actually capture a lot of vote. Is this the reason why this guy here, Konkoso, is going to have problem because the influence of him is going to overshadow Konkoso simply because Atiku is, um, is from, they are both from state and from north, they both from the north and also Atiku has a, he belong to one of the biggest party that have a structure pdp there so this now is going to have influence on obi how this is going to do he is going to do i'm going to come to him in a minute and he as well how he's going to do he belong to the you know political party of um you know the ruling political party which means he has a big chance uh, in terms of like the um but you know the, all the the cool existing governors they are going to try as much as possible to capture their state for him this is where nigeria election goes but is he going to be in problem when we are talking about something i mentioned already that is so important tribe you see both of them right they belong to the same religion muslim and muslim they are both Muslim, but <laughs> you see, tribe is now really going to be very, very important. The Hausa Fulani people there, are they going to, or the people in the North generally that are Hausa Fulani, are they going to prefer to vote for, to go for the one of their own kingsmen? Or are they going to say, well, we will belong to the same political party and then go for him? This is going to be a big, you know, a big, um, you know, power play and challenge between, um, you know, between these two guys in the North who capture that place. You're almost guaranteed that he will capture this area because this is where he's from. He we capture you know tribe even though this or your state which um you know went to pdp last time but because he is a yoruba man from that area a yoruba man because he is a yoruba man i think he's going to win you know all the state in yoruba land so we're talking about you know all the states uh, here so which are kind of like a yoruba you know is possibly we win you know those area i think it's going to win, capture the whole of that area which represents yoruba and then i think there are other states as well that you possibly might capture in the north based on you know the power play is his party below is the incumbent party and also he's kind of like a he's muslim as well so he might get you know so some a lot of vote in the north as well so another factor is that let's actually let's look at him because i haven't talked about him he is really a phenomenon because he is the reason why you know him peter will be is the reason why there are now a lot of young people going to get their pvc to want to participate in the election him is the reason why you know the the number of uh, people going to register to vote have skyrocketed you know literally skyrocketed because um it, it, i think that because 
it might really has to do because of him well it might not just be because of him what is the problem that he is got here's the problem with this guy he belonged to the Igbo tribe the Igbo tribe so which means that you know it's likely to just capture all those Igbo state so which are this state here in green all the state here you know and you go ahead boy i don't know you know what be that is almost like guarantee as well i think he's also going to capture you know a lot of other states um down there because there are a lot of Igbo people and generally the south you know there are Igbo people and people young people that are there and then is he going to get some votes from the Yoruba side I think he's going to get some votes obviously because there are a lot of Igbo people there this is again where tribe comes in don't forget tribe in Nigeria politics so and yeah so seriously he's going to get some votes as well from southwest but to win the overall elect um, of a particular state i don't think so in yoruba land because of him just get rid of that because of him <laughs> he we find it really difficult to be able to win a whole you know state he's going to get some votes but not winning any state in yoruba land i don't think so so let's let me get rid of this as well okay so what about him his chance in the south so because his party you know did this well in the last election but <laughs> seriously this is a different election because he is going to be challenging him he was the vice of him when they did this well you see he was the vice when they both did really well but now this is a different you know election entirely he will really struggle to get all of this you know the place where his party got last time well i don't think he will get this this or your is not really going to get it because <laughs> of him and then you know the other part which are the Igbo area which are around there he is not going to get them what is he going to get then from the south from the southern part what is he going to get from the south around that area what is he going to get it's, it's going to be really I think another factor that might be responsible that might play out is that there is a particular state here which is river state this river state there and maybe a little bit of more influence beyond the river state is a guy called wiki i haven't got his photo actually so he is um an um a, a very strong politician current you know river state governor is a very strong politician in nigeria well in that area so is wiki going to go with him or is he going to go with him or is he going to go with him i just still leave this one out anyway <laughs> seriously wiki's influence because wiki and atiku wiki yeah and atiku they belong to the same political party which did this well pdp they belong to that party both of them but the problem is that wiki was hoping to be the vice of this of article but he was not able to get that vice so vice aspirant so which means that he might not really be very happy so he hasn't said anything officially saying that he want to move out of pdp but it's likely not to support him somebody from his party he might just support him because 
they are not too far away they are kind of like uh, belong to maybe a little bit of similar tribe or maybe the same tribe or they belong to the south or you might just even go for him as well saying that but they are all from the south so that's what might play out in terms of like the vote of these two guys who are both from the south let's remove the clutter they are both from the south that's another factor that play out in nigeria politics you have the south and the north so because they are both from the south their vote is going to make him not to have enough vote in the south so what he got last time is not going to get that much so he is possibly left stronger in the north because of his tribe even though there are some of the governors in the south who are pdp belong to his party but are they going to vote for party or are they going to vote for you know are they going to vote for tribe this is the reason why you know tribe and religion religion is another factor that i don't want to dwell too much on but when you have a presidential candidate they tend to have to choose their vice to be christian um if they are muslim and then if they are christian they tend to choose their vice to be muslim and this is one of the way that is playhouse in nigeria people tend to you know have some uh, kind of like um affiliate with their religions and their tribe anyway this is an election that is not like any election <laughs> before in nigeria and we're going to just see how this is going to play out in terms of who is going to win the election i think it's going to be between these two guys bola ahmed tinubu and atiku abaka this one simply because you know his party is the one that is ruling currently and him um, because he also is a, a politician that really have a, a, a lot of experience on how politics works in Nigeria. I really have concern about these two guys because they are really cold and you know age isn't really supposed to be a problem after all Nigeria, um, the president of America is a very old man but america is different because america is a already a developed country why africa or you know nigeria is the kind of like struggling and especially when things are not going right we need somebody you know people that have energy and you know that can actually fix the country and something they do have in common as well is that especially this tree something they do have in common is that they are kind of like a capitalist really i would say they are you know people that are, have businesses and operate businesses so which means that you know they kind of like um, go lean towards you know capitalists and which means that you know <coughs> they can bring people that are um that can really be competent to be able to do um the writing or to, to move the country forward in terms of the economy wise even this one actually Atiku Avaka, so first of his manifesto that he's been talking about is like privatization which they did a lot of that during the time when he was vice president and i don't really have any problem with uh, with that privatization as long as it's done in the right ways i mean capitalism always get the bad press and a lot of people are concerned about capitalism but for horse in africa the way things have really gone bad especially in nigeria I would actually prefer a kind of like a, a capitalist setup because when you do that, you are able to just get, even though things might be expensive, but is it better to get the fuel and uh, it's expensive or not to get it and then it's cheap? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I think it's uh, capitalism is something that I think these three possibly have in, in, in common. And another issue that I really can see with him who is the Peter Obi that is gaining a lot of momentum and popularity is the structure. It just belongs to a party that, you know, and actually he was from PDP and then he moved to uh, the Labour Party. Is he really um, in the 
in, in a party that doesn't have structure i think so i think east party labor doesn't really have that structure people some people tend to argue that structure can be built i think it might be too soon for him maybe next election after this coming 2023 and maybe that might be the right time simply because you know it takes a lot of you know um structured and a lot of setup um you know you're talking about massive country all the states in nigeria all the local government you have to have people there that we you know uh, you know and again this when you're talking about um tribe as well and and religion you know in the northern part of nigeria is he really going to get a lot of vote i understand a lot of youth i will be interested to vote for him for change but the general majority of the north is he going to get vote there i am not sure 